Man, Jay the Chosen One, man. Here, back at it with another video, man. Spread knowledge, love, positivity, man. Let's get it. So, man, very important video today, man. Stuff was on my mind today because lately, bro, I just been been peeping a lot of stuff, bro. You know, just my environment, just what I've been doing, and it's like when it comes to people that I don't know, they gonna have their opinion. They gonna say what they gotta say, but what hurts the most, and I don't even let it affect me, it be family, bro. Yo, family, especially when you are on simmer attention, bro. Still to this day, since I've been single, some of my family members have asked why I don't have a girlfriend yet, bro. And one of the things that since my my last relationship is to realize, hey, when it comes to your relationship, bro, keep things private in your family, whatever goes down with your relationship. Because this is when you realize why certain family members have fell out and why some stuff happened with them when with their relationship telling their parents and everything else. Your family, bro, look, in today's world, we have to work a job, of course, right? You have to have a job. Just over broke. You putting your energy into that job. Some people will judge you off your job, what job you have, how much money you making. But you realize we kind of doing the same thing. Some people just work their job and they younger than me or they little older than me, or they in their 40s. And that's all they do. They don't do anything else but work their job. Even some people that's older than me, they don't have kids yet, don't have no family yet. Or have family, taking care of their kids, most of their time is taken out their day. So they can't just do, they have a tight schedule. Some people that work, they just work, put all the energy to their job, they go home. But yet these same people judge you just because you work a job, but you're not just working your job. After work, you probably put work in the gym. You probably make music. You probably making music. You probably doing some other type of stuff that you enjoy doing that is your passion. But out of all the people in the world, who has the most to say something about it? Your family. When it comes to seeing more attention, don't be telling your friends, don't be telling your family, your family, or any associates what you do practice on a daily basis, on your living. Because, <coughs> excuse me, because when it comes to you telling people you are on retention, you are going to see you are in a small percentage of people practicing that. It can be eating healthy. It could be practicing retention. It could just be overall benefiting working on yourself. I know people my age, all they do after, after they get off work is drink beer, watch TV. Multiple people tell me that, bro. I know people that work a job and the month, extra money they, they getting off their job, they go to the strip club. They blowing their money at the strip club, bro. They going to the strip club, the money they they put their energy in, work that job, that little extra money every weekend. They go to the bars, they go to the clubs. They tricking out, they tricking, out here tricking. Females. It's like, dude, these people, when you're doing something different, the reason why they feel like that is because you can't have a conversation when it comes to talking about your goals and what you do. Because some people are gonna feel like they bragging. They're gonna feel like you bragging. Or they're gonna feel like you you trying to make it sound like you better than them when you're not. You just letting them know exactly what you do. Some people may call you lame, square. But one day everything you've been doing is gonna benefit you so much. These people never have the energy at the day to really work on themselves. But these be the same people 
that be judging you just because of what you doing, your relief, your beliefs, what you practicing with yourself, dude. This is going to happen when you get on retention. This happened to me since 2019. I didn't got judged. I didn't have people say some stuff. I didn't have people from my hometown say some stuff. I didn't had, you know, people. It's been some people I was kind of open with them telling, telling them my goals and everything. It was a few dudes. One dude had a family who was the same age. <clears throat> and he was a... Uh, he was Mexican. He didn't really speak. Actually, he was not Mexican. I forgot exactly what race he was, bro. But he did not speak English very good. Sometime I had to pull up the translator on my phone and, you know, show him. But, bro, he told me straight up. Like, on some real stuff. Like, I showed him music. I showed him a couple of videos of what I do and everything. And he was just saying that I'm very, very wise for my age. A lot of people don't think like that, especially at our age. So he just gave me game, told me, hey, you don't have no family yet. You don't have no kids yet. You have a lot of time. He was just, and then it'd be, you know, some of the translators sometimes, but he was just giving me game all around, dude. Sometimes you run across these people that you barely even know. You barely know them, bro. But them close people, your family, your friends, go have the most to say. This is going to take place when you are or retention especially with females I didn't have some females figure out what I was doing and then kind of get mad because it was like I guess they wanted to you know mess around and then it, it's like I killed their ego because I'm not really just giving it up you know the first day or first week and this is why sometimes you be some of these girls out here, bro, is burnt out, bro. They burnt out. They's burnt out, bro. You do not need to focus on any of these girls. It's some of these girls, they be you you probably DM them years ago. Try to get at them and everything, and they go settle with this type of dude. Years later, she probably got multiple kids, this, this, and that. And then she telling you to spin the block. Psh, spin what block? Nigga, that block blocked. That's a roadblock. I'm not spinning no block. You burnt out. Like real talk, dude. This is no offense to some of the females that watch my channel, but it be like that for us men. Like, bro, it's, it's, it's be some females out here talking about good dudes out here always complaining about this, this, and that. Bro, it's hella good dudes out here, bro. Y'all be picking the wrong ones. Y'all be picking the wrong ones. It's going to be a lonely journey sometime you gonna feel different emotions but you have to understand you are always going to be good you are always going to be good man you have nothing to worry about as long as you're making the right decisions as long as you're taking care of yourself man everything else is going to fall in place this journey makes the best of us it turns us into warriors a lot of people out here is not warriors they gave up at some point everybody settles down a lot of people that had a lot of potential they settled down too early they gave in you don't want to give in yet not till you know when you meet that right one and everything else but the journey going to be very judgmental sometime but you're not going to care the best you know what i'm saying you're not going to care man it makes the best out of us so this journey, seam retention journey, your spiritual journey, you're going to come across a lot. You're going to learn a lot about people out here, how they can be. And you especially going to learn more about yourself, man. So, hey, the journey's beautiful, man. I love it. So, yeah, I love y'all, man. Keep taking care of yourself. I'm out. Peace.